Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about Team of the Group stage today, the promotion that is coming on Friday in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. This is the promotion that we expected to come right after Black Friday, the first weekend in December with Match Day 5 ending this week. We had Tuesday and Wednesday of this week with Champions League matches, Match Day 5, and then we have got Europa League today on Thursday as well. So we're going to talk about that promotion, what we know already, what we can possibly expect, look at a prediction or two, and also talk about the Weekend League rewards market today, talk about the PlayStation 5 because there are people getting on to the next gen console version or the next gen release of FIFA it seems like all the new adaptive triggers and all, all sorts of gameplay the new PS5 gameplay for FIFA 21 I'm on the PS4 still do not have a PS5 have not been able to snipe one yet on the 59th minute per se but we're going to take a look at some of the stuff uh, that could be happening with that as well and uh, look at the new team of the week possibly the market rising with rewards today and another base icon SBC this is getting very Party Bag SBC-esque of EA Sports. They continue to release these base icon upgrades, um, you know, every couple days. This one's only out for two days. It's going to expire before the promo starts on this Friday, which is very interesting. Very, very interesting they're doing it this way. It's almost, again, like I mentioned, uh, kind of like they used to do the Party Bag SBCs last year during, like, when was that, like, foot birthday before Team of the Season, maybe, maybe even during Team of the Season, and stuff like that but again let's go to the big thing on tap for today and that is the info we got on wednesday about team of the group stage now i tweeted this graphic out this is from ea this is the actual graphic this is the actual car design which i believe is exactly the same as last year and when i tweeted this out today you know i said the recycled car design that's kind of the way that EA works. It seems a lot of the, the car designs for the Champions League, Road to the Finals, Man of the Matches, and Europa League get reused. I don't know if there's anything uh, like they just designed it once. So they don't want to mess with it. But uh, this is the car design. It almost looks exactly the same as last year. I would go out on a limb and say it is exactly the same for the most part. Yeah, I think it looks exactly the same. But we will be seeing this team probably an updated loading screen today on Thursday. I would expect to see probably three cards today on Thursday with a few hints. Last year, I wasn't expecting this today, uh, yesterday on Wednesday. I was expecting this screen to come out today on Thursday, but the EA dropped it a day early because they want to promo uh, their new stuff that is coming out, of course. Uh, this is the team from last year. I don't know if you guys remember this team of the tournament group stage. We had Messi, De Bruyne, Kane, Lewa, stacked squad last year. Big time players in packs. This year, it's not really looking like it's going to be that quality unless EA just juices up cards and puts, you know, cards into packs, not even based on the performance, just to actually sell packs. We'll talk about that today as well. Then we had a couple Europa League items. Even in FIFA 19, we had a really solid team in the group stage. Uh, I, I, go, I don't know if you guys remember this last year, but Messi, uh, right around this time as well, a lot of the market started dropping off because of this promotion and how um, packable these Team of the Group Stage cards were, but also because of the Player of the Month Messi SBC was coming out last year during this time frame in FIFA as well. So I don't know if we're going to get as good of a Team of the Group Stage squad this year as we did last year. Here is a prediction coming in on Twitter from Uncle Foot uh, and a couple other guys. I'm going to link leave this link to the prediction in the description. Uh, one thing I'm going to be very interested to see this year is does EA throw in a guy like Messi or does EA throw in a guy like maybe a Ronaldo or a big top tier player? Do they throw in Bruno Fernandez and Marcus Rashford or just one of those two? Uh, do they throw in De Bruyne to try to make this squad look more appealing to most people? Because so far with the players that have been playing well in the Champions League, I don't know who EA is going to put into this. Of course, Holland probably has to get in. Rashford could get in. Goma, um, or Bruno could get in. Guys like Coman, Timo Werner, Joe Gomez are possibilities. Morata's been playing well. You know, guys like Jota and Ferran Torres who have ones to watch cards that would get upgraded if they were to get an, a new item here because this is performance based. Those ones to watch items would get upgraded. So that's one thing to watch out for. A lot of those OTWs are already inflated. I think Playa is 100% getting one. He's got like five or six goals and three assists or something like that. That was through match day four. Um, it's just this year, Team of the Group stage is not looking like it's going to be that good. But I'm sure EA is going to throw in some cards to make it look good, right? They're going to throw in a few players here to sell packs and to do the business, as you know. But um, that's kind of interesting to me. 
Other thing that's, that's sort of interesting to me, as we look at some past promo teams that we've had already this year, right? Like Road to the Final Cards or even like uh, Record Breakers when they released the Record Breakers, right? They only have been doing a full squad of 11 at one time. Record Breakers are probably the best example for this. They just release 11 special cards per, per week. Like they do one week with 11 and if it's a two week promo, they go 11 cards and then 11 cards. They can't really do that with team in the group stage because right, I mean, I guess they could, but right after this, we have Footmas. So this is probably going to be just a one week promo like it always is. Hopefully they put more than 11 cards in packs, you know, maybe at least just like they did last year with a sizable promo team like this. That's what I will hope for, uh, because if it's just 11 cards in packs, that's kind of a dud in my opinion. I would like more, would like a little bit more. So give us a full squad EA. Um, we'll probably, again, like I mentioned, get more to this loading screen today. Probably they'll start to, you know, give us the hints, right? Put, some, put a nation on there, put some stats, some ratings, and then maybe some like coordinates on the, on the actual loading screen itself to get us guessing, to get us predicting and all that sort of stuff. Now, with Weekend League Rewards today, what does this mean? Since we know, now Weekend League Rewards are in, you know, probably not too long or even have already passed after you're uh, opening up this video to watch it. But with Weekend League Rewards today, well, we got a lazy sale on Watkins, let's freaking go. Um, I think not a lot of people are gonna be opening their packs. There's a lot of people that are saving packs right now. I think they're gonna continue saving them. And I do think that still makes the market rise. This market has a lot of coins right now. As you saw on my transfer list, I've got some Hyunmin Suns. I bought these those cards for around 70,000 coins or under today. And right now, he's kind of still in the same range. I'm going to pick up that sum of the Hunter for 70K because I feel like gold cards and just meta stuff overall is going to rise this week um, on the market. I do feel like the market is still going to rise because without packs being opened up, you have less supply to the market in terms of those cards that maybe you wanted to buy that are in packs have less supply but there's still demand because people still buy teams on thursdays for their weekend league that starts up on friday so i still think you're going to see a market rise today in a lot of areas now the, the new team of the week that came out today as well i do want to show you guys this over on the twitter this was the new team of the week that came out today uh Roe magnoli mendy aguilar rafinha is one that i want to look at and griezmann are two cards that I want to look at from this week's team of the week. Now, these are cards that we kind of knew were coming because they were technically leaked last night before um, the actual team came out. They were leaked in concepts. Griezmann is dope. Mendy is dope. Rafinha is dope. But this team of the week might be one of the worst team of the weeks we have ever seen in FIFA Ultimate Team history. It's so bad. And of course, guys like De Bruyne and Mares didn't get in. We did get a Mendy in form. But that is making people think we might get a uh, team of the group stage De Bruyne. That's why you saw De Bruyne in that prediction. I think that seems realistic. These are going to be cards that you could watch today at rewards, possibly flip. Rafinha has a lot of hype because of his links. Basically, this is like this is like an inform Lucas type card. I don't even know like if you compared this guy to Gold Lucas Mora, how he compares. But I'm going to be completely honest. It's probably pretty uh, pretty close. 83 rated Lucas Mora is 11,000 coins. This card is 144,000 coins. And Lucas Mora has more total stats. Or no, sorry, less total stats, less in games. But they're very, very close. The physicality is the biggest difference. And then passing, Rafinha has a little bit more. Plus two pace, plus two dribbling. So, uh, or plus two dribbling on Lucas. So these are basically the same card and they're 130k difference. I feel like this Rafinha is very overpriced if I'm being honest with you at the moment, but a lot of these cards will drop. Griezmann's low, man. I think this is very low for Griezmann. If you do want to look at cards today during rewards, people that have elite rewards and up are going to are not going to hold these cards cuz or hold those packs, the tradable team of the week packs. There's no reason for them to hold those. Um, so I would definitely keep an eye on some of these informs today at rewards because they might drop and then rebound after the rewards time period as people go out and try to, and buy those for their teams. I would watch Mendy, Griezmann, possibly Aspas, Lautaro Martinez, and Rafinha as those cards. And I guess you could even watch Ro Magnoli as well. Um, actually, this is one thing I want to check. How did Donnarumma do today as a record breaker? Uh, as a link investment because this guy was already up a lot. Did he continue to go or did he get okay? He's about the same price 89k after the Roe Magnolia came out So maybe Don Ruma goes up a little bit today after rewards uh, with people getting Roe Magnolia as a red item, but uh, Yeah, man, the market today wasn't really impacted that much by this icon SBC I think you know 
Fodder did go up a little bit. We saw some of the 85s and 86s go up because of another base icon upgrade. I wonder if people are just waiting on this though. Man, if I were you, wait, this has four days remaining? I thought it said one day remaining, man. Hey, yo, where's the base icon upgrade? Are there two of them out right now? Are there two base icons? One day, 15 hours. There are two of them out because I did not do the second one. And there's also, um, there's also this new one that came out today. So that is my bad. I thought uh, this one was only out for two days. It's out for four days. So I do feel like some people might not be doing this right now, uh, along with my original thought process, because they might think that, okay, we've got a promo coming this weekend. We've got some promo packs. Possibly SBC fodder is going to drop a little bit. That's not, you know, that could happen for sure, but there's so many SBCs that are out right now. Of course, we are waiting on that Joao Felix player of the month and a lot of that stuff. Um, other SBCs that could be coming with Team of the Group stage could possibly be coming out as well. It's something to keep an eye on. And we'll have more player of the months coming soon too. Bundesliga, Premier League, uh, League on player of the months in the next few days, actually probably next week or so, but there's just a decent amount of SBCs that are out right now. But I don't think a lot of people did that Icon SBC today right away. I think they're kind of waiting on it. And uh, maybe with rewards today, seeing what they're going to get and stuff like that. So um, the market didn't really crash per se. There are still some deals out on the market. If you do want to take a look through some past Team of the Weeks uh, today before rewards, there are some cards that are still kind of low. Some stuff has trickled upwards. This Mars is up another 10K. Goretzka is up. Teixeira is up. Some of these cards have continued to rebound. Now, after more Champions League action today, some of these cards are still very low. Uh, Draxler is about the same after PSG winning today against Man U. Let me check Rashford really fast. Where is he at? Rashford is 958, so he is down uh, after the loss today. Klosterman is down for Leipzig. Um, a lot of these, Zakaria is still kind of low. You know, Davies is, is still chilling at 550. So some of those cards, some of the rule breakers have rebounded a bit too. Cuadrado still 230. Jimenez is up. Royce is up. Teixeira is up. Uh, so, you know, keep an eye on some of these cards as well after rewards. I do think they'll rise, man. They're just rare. They're out of packs and they should rise. I'm really curious about these. 530 for Vardy, 320 for Sancho. Really curious to see. And Bappe's back at 3-2. I'm really curious to see what these cards kind of do today with this market and the current situation of the game right now but i do not think that team of the group stage and the loading screen is really gonna like stop people from buying teams just yet it might stop uh the buyback a little bit um but i don't feel like there's a lot of reason for panic especially since we had an icon sbc today i really don't feel like there's a lot of big content that we could get on um thursday i don't feel like there's a lot of big content that we could get on thursday today and foot i feel like it's mostly the stuff that came yesterday and wednesday there's actually a lot that was released the team of the week a couple new sbcs the base icon the loading screen there's a lot of stuff that happened uh on wednesday for fifa ultimate team thursday i think should be a bit quieter updated loading screen maybe some sort of sbc or, or something like that i wouldn't expect too too much there is a lot of hype going around though right now about the PlayStation 5. And this is one thing I do want to show you uh, over here on, on Footbin, actually, is that there are, first of all, there's a lot of people talking on Twitter right now about the PlayStation 5 and the graphics and how, go uh, how good it looks. Uh, like this is uh, this picture that this is from Matt HD Gamer on Twitter. This picture of Allison. Look at those graphics, man. Uh, that's a bit scruffy of a beard on Allison, but look at the look at the graphics and the hair, the face, like the sweat, the eyes. That that's crazy, crazy, crazy graphics. So if you have a PlayStation Five, uh, your graphics are looking insane right now. Um, I really don't know too much about that because I'm still rocking the PlayStation Four. I'll get a PS Five eventually, but at least it's not going to happen right at this moment. So if you do though, um, make sure you do update because I think it's an update you have to download or something like that. People are figuring out how to do that. Check on other. Um, Maybe like on Twitter, there's probably ways to do that if you're having some issues because I did see people having issues. Now, these are also cards that people are clicking around and they're seeing. It was a, on a couple of pictures, screenshots taken from next-gen consoles about these cards right here. These are like gold cards with the same exact stats, but they have a different like design. These are very interesting looking cards. I don't actually know. If these are cards that are going to come out, if it's a new card design, or if it's just something to promo next gen, because the whole next gen promo with e that EA has been doing has been kind of like the red and blue. So I don't know what these cards are exactly. I feel like they're not going to be released in the game, uh, but I don't honestly know what these are, man. I think they're just kind of like 
maybe some sort of like next gen Maybe they're going to be loans or something like that. They'll give you loans. For, I don't know. I really do not know. But these are just gold cards with a with kind of a weird. It's like um, it's just like UCL cards. Honestly, it's like another UCL card is what these are for PS5 or Xbox Series X. I really do not know what these are. Hopefully, we get some more information on that today. But that's also stuff that could be coming out on Friday with Team of the Group Stage. It could be a massive Friday, boys. We could have Team of the Group Stage this Friday. Next gen officially being out December 4th. That was like the official drop date for EA Sports. And also, icon swaps. It is early December and it could be icon swaps time. So we'll see if we get any more information on that today on Thursday as well. But until then, good luck with your reds and rewards. If you're opening packs, good luck. If you're saving, uh, hopefully your saving ends up treating you well. If you're watching the market today, hopefully we get a nice little market rise on a lot of cards and icons out of packs in forms, a lot of the stuff that I've been keeping an eye on. I do feel like it goes up today. I do. Where's this Bruno at? Where's my guy Bruno at right now? Because he's been fluctuating between like 375, 380 and over 400K today. This guy fluctuates a ton, man. Right now he's 390. Looks like this Bruno's like 390. There's a bunch listed at 420 right here. This is somebody investing for Thursday flip. See this? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, six Brunos all listed at the same exact time. Uh, close to the same price. So that is somebody who did a little Thursday flip investment on 88 Bruno. I like that a lot. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you're hyped for PS5, FIFA gameplay, or team of the group stage, thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Good luck again on your rewards today. And let's make some coins with a nice little market rise. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.